Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can find the absolute value of a rational number. Well, before we find absolute value, we got to know what absolute value is. Well, absolute value just represents the distance that a number is, on a number line, from zero. Okay, so if we think about that word distance, if you're talking about distance, how far is it from where I am currently to the door in my classroom or to the board in my classroom or, or whatever kind of distance we want to find, are we ever going to say, oh, it's negative 10 feet away? No, right? Even if I were talking about a submarine going down under the water in the ocean, right? Am I going to say we're going, we're going negative 250 feet uh, or 250 meters? No, right? We're just going to say, hey, we're going to go down 250 meters, right? So absolute value needs to be positive, right? Either positive or zero, right? The absolute value of zero would just be itself. Um, so in this video, we're going to use a number line and try and draw out to find out what the absolute value of a rational number is. Okay, so for right now, the, we're going to do two examples. Number one, we're going to find the absolute value of negative two. So the first thing I want to do is just plot a point on my number line at negative two. Now also, I want to know where zero is. So there's zero. And now I look and I go, okay, here's zero, here's negative two. What is my distance here, right? How far, how many units away is negative two from zero? Well, we start at zero, we go to negative one, and then we get to negative two. So our absolute value here would be two. So we could write this as the absolute value of negative two is equal to two. So those two vertical bars there, that represents absolute value. All right, now we're gonna find the absolute value of two and three fourths. So this is a fraction, it would be like 2.75. So it's still a rational number. So we're, we can plot this on our number line. So I see two, um, well, let's start off, let's, let's put a star on zero. And then here's two, right? And here's three. So we know that two and three fourths needs to be somewhere between two and three. Well, this would probably be two and a half, right? So it needs to be um, a little bit closer to three than my half tick right there. All right, so let's put my dot right there, and this is gonna represent two and three fourths. So now, once again, we're gonna look at where zero is and also where our mark at two and three fourths was. So now if we draw our line there, so now let's think about it. Okay, we start at zero, we go to one, we go to two, and then we're th another three fourths of the way down our number line. So the absolute value of two and three fourths would simply be two and three fourths, okay? So just remember absolute value, the distance from zero, and that distance needs to be positive. And that's how you can find absolute value of a rational number.